Hello tech people. So, you've finally decided to move on from the Arduino boards and picked up an ESP32. Let's look at how to set up the Arduino IDE to program the ESP32. The ESP32 is such a game-changing microcontroller. It is packed with features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and dual-core processors, all for an incredibly low price. It's perfect, but how do we program it? All right, grab your computer and open up the Arduino IDE. The first thing we need to do is to install the ESP32 board package. First, head over to File, then Preferences. In the Preferences window, look for the field labeled Additional Board Manager URLs. Here, you'll want to add this URL. I'm also going to include it in the description below, so no worries about typing it out. Okay, now let's install the ESP32 package. Open the Board Manager from the sidebar. Search for ESP32. You will get two results. The Arduino ESP32 boards is for the official Arduino boards like the Arduino Nano ESP32. The next one, from Espressive Systems, is the one we need. Install that. Note that the Arduino IDE version we are using is 2.3.4, and the ESP32 core version is 3.1.3. Installation is done, but we're not finished yet. We need to select the specific ESP32 board we're working with. So go back to Tools, Board, ESP32 and scroll down to find your model. There are a couple of different options available. For instance, I am using an ESP32S dev board. So I select the ESP32 dev module. Next, go to Tools, Port and select the port that is connected to your ESP32. If you are unsure of which port is yours, open the Device Manager by opening the Start menu and searching for the Device Manager. Expand the COM port section and connect your ESP32 to your computer. It should automatically refresh and show you the new COM port. This will be your COM port to use the in the Arduino IDE. If you do not see a port here, you might need to install the drivers for your board. And upload this simple Blink sketch. As you can see, the normal Arduino Blink sketch does not work because the pin names are different for the ESP32 boards. So let's change the pin to 2, which is the LED pin on ESP32, and upload again. Success! For some boards, you might be stuck at this connecting screen. If it happens, press the reset button for 2 seconds, after it says connecting, and your board should connect and upload. Now, if you are unsure about the version of your board, first, look at the back of your board. There is usually some info there. If you are still unclear, go to Tools and set the core debug level to verbose. Then upload the sketch again. When the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor. Before the program starts to run, you will get all the information about the board. And that is it. You are ready to program your ESP32 boards. Like and subscribe if this video helped you or comment if you have any questions.